Hello you fleshy mammals, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Oculus software not installing on Windows 11. It's a very simple fix, but it's kind of a little tedious, this guide should help you and should be very easy to follow. First things first, you're going to need to open command prompt as an administrator. After doing so, you will see the command prompt window. You're going to need to type this command into command prompt. I put it in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Hit enter. And you'll see the operation completed successfully. This means that next time you reboot your computer, it'll be in test signing mode. But before booting up your PC, there is something you need to do regarding Windows 11. You can safely close this and shut down your computer now. So the next step is to go to your BIOS. Now, usually for most people, what you gotta do is just mash F12 on your keyboard until it shows up. But in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably head over to settings or boot. For me, I believe it's in settings, miscellaneous. No, yeah, no, there it is. AMD CPU FTPM. For you, it'll probably just be TPM. However you disable TPM, that's what you're gonna wanna do. So in my case, it's unenabled. I'm gonna switch it to disabled. This could be very different depending on your build. So you might have to look up how to turn TPM off based off of your motherboard specifically. Or if you installed Windows 11 without the TPM requirement, then that version of Windows 11, you don't need to do any of this. You can just reboot in testing mode and skip this entire section. Make sure you click save and exit, save and exit, save and exit, save and exit. Now when you boot back into Windows, you should see test mode Windows 11 down at the bottom right here. Now, interestingly, if you have Wallpaper Engine running, this will not be here. It'll be overlapped by Wallpaper Engine, but it should likely be there. You should quit Wallpaper Engine real quick just to see if test mode is down there. Now go ahead and re-download the Oculus software on the brand new disgusting looking meta store, which if you don't know how to get to the Oculus setup, you go to accessories, you click on Oculus link, the link cable, you scroll down, and you click download software because they just love confusing the shit out of people now. Go ahead and open the Oculus setup, I already have it installed so I'm not going to mess with any of this, and go through the installation process and it should be successful, however we are not done. Remember when we entered testing mode? We need to now get out of testing mode. I don't really know why, it shouldn't matter if you're in testing mode, but it could cause unwanted issues like headsets not being connected properly or other issues that may just be weird, so it's better to get out of testing mode. To get out of testing mode, open command prompt, run it as administrator just like before. Go ahead and copy and paste the second thing in the description. This will be this command, but instead of saying on, it'll say off. Just copy and paste it or just type it in as you see it on screen now. Enter, you'll see the operation was completed successfully. Make sure you do this after the Oculus software is done downloading. You don't have to log in, but you just have to have it done downloading. Now you can safely close this and turn off your computer one last time. Go ahead and boot back into your BIOS and head over to wherever the hell you have TPM. For me, it's in settings miscellaneous whenever it wants so amd cpu ftpm for me for you it likely is just tpm 2.0 or something of the sort but if you're on an amd cpu it's likely ftpm go to save and exit save and exit save and exit upon a reboot you should notice now that the oculus software opens no problem and is fully installed on Windows 11. If this helped, leave a like, you know, subscribe, it helps out the channel, and also gives me money. I get paid. Give me money, I like money.